Oh, oh, we want that on there. Oh, let's just turn that round there. Let's put that on there. That is bull chicken right there. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're doing a cracker. We're using the Instant Pot. You can cook this on the stove within 30 minutes. We're using the Instant Pot. I think it gives a better result. Or you could cook it in the slow cooker for about four hours. We're making pulled chicken. However, I'm making a very special sauce which I like to go with this. We're making a creamy mustard honey barbecue sauce and that will be our dip and sauce for this burger or this pulled chicken burger so let's crack on and do it we have to make the sauce first now don't forget as always if you like this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel ring that bell let's get on and make this sauce now we're using anything which is store-bought don't worry about it. Mayo. This, okay, this is my mayo, but store-bought mayo, not a problem. So we want some mayo in there. Because that is the base of our dip, our sauce. Not about that much. That's about a cupful. Somewhere around there. Dijon mustard. Oh, crikey. I think my strength's going. <laughs> Want about that much. Be about a quarter of a cup, somewhere around about there. We've got a barbecue sauce here, ready made. We want about that much. A good heaped tablespoon. Apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon. And we got some honey, squeezy honey. We want about two tablespoons of honey. So don't forget. This is a honey barbecued sauce. Salt, pepper to taste. I want some pepper in there. We want that peppery flavour coming through this sauce. Salt, minimal. Very minimal. Just a touch because everything that's pulling together, this has probably got salt in. Mayo's, uh, mustard's got salt in. So let's not go crazy. Onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika. And a mix up. Nice and gently. Incorporate all that together in there. And then we're going to give it a taste test, a quick taste test, see what we've got. If you want it, I'm using, by the way, the smoked paprika I'm using today is a hot smoked paprika. I have another smoked paprika and I have two different types here. I'm using the hot one today. If you didn't use a hot smoky paprika you could always add some hot sauce you know you can change it up don't worry about it this is a basic you change to what you want there's enough flavor going on in here without adding anything else to be really truthful now taste I want a little bit more barbecue actually. We're making a barbecue sauce but it's not very barbecue flavoured. But I am not using homemade obviously. So let's have that in there. Now don't forget, flavours melt together and this has to be going in the fridge for half an hour. For all that to come back in there, and the garlic powder, onion powder, and everything will be infused in this. Okay, we've done the sauce. Now we need to be getting on with the chicken. I have four chicken breasts there. They're quite large, actually. We need to be making a little bit of a rub to go over them. In here, I have onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika. This is a very basic rub. Very basic. You can change it up to what you want. A little bit of salt, there's got to be salt on there. And we want some pepper. A little bit of black pepper in there. I'm going to give that a mix. And that is our seasoning for our chicken breast. Easy as that. We're not going to go crazy. I'm going to put this on the chicken breast. 
smother it in barbecue sauce and cook it. That's it. It's one of those really simple recipes. So our chicken then. I'm going to get a glove on for this. Just to put on this chicken breast. In fact what we'll do, we'll take the liner from the instant pot and this is one cup of chicken broth in there. There you go, one cup of chicken broth. When you're cooking with the instant pot you have to have at least half a cup to a cup of fluid. You have to, as it ain't going to work. Chicken breasts. Our seasoning mix on there. More on the top than on the bottom because it's actually going to sit inside that broth. So if you've got it in the bottom it's all going to be in the broth anyway. So what drops off? Rub on the bottom of the chicken breast. Easy as that really. Nothing technical about this whatsoever. And then that goes straight in there. That's our chicken breast in there. We want to go over there with some barbecue sauce. Now that's a fantastic thing about these squeezy bottles, you know. You can just squeeze it in. You want to really be going up to about a cupful, but you know, that's going to be quite a lot. So let's get that in there. So that is our barbecue sauce in there on our chicken breast. That goes in the instant pot. Straight in there, lid on. We're cooking this high pressure for 10 minutes only. We're going to go to pressure cook and we are going high pressure but we want to be doing 10 minutes so we've got to bring this down. That's it. We leave it to do its thing. You've seen it all before. It will just go to on in a minute and it will start to build up its pressure. It will then start to count down and in 10 minutes time we let it release naturally for 10 minutes and then release quickly. We only want a 10 minute cook, a 10 minute natural vent and we got to get that um, pressure out of there so we have a nice juicy chicken breast to shred up. It's as easy as that. Cooking done. That's it, we've hit the mark. All it's going to do now is count down 10 minutes whilst it's naturally venting and then we're going to vent it off. Okay, we've got it naturally vented off for 10 minutes. Now we have to manually vent on the top. As easy as that. Smells amazing. And this is where they're going to start with smell of vision eventually for something like this. It is incredible. So we're just going to take that chicken out of there into there. And we've got this lovely, lovely juice in here. Our chicken, we are going to shred it. And it is going to shred just like that. Look at that. That is amazingly cooked. Look. It is cooked all the way through and it just pulls apart. Just like it should be doing, we're doing pulled chicken. So just shred it up. So there we are, that is our shredded chicken. And that is extremely moist and juicy. Now you can do what I'm going to do, or you could ladle it in. That is entirely up to you. We just want that chicken smothered in that sauce. A little bit more look. There's just not enough to be squidging out of the burger when you eat it. That looks just about wet enough. That's what I like when you get in the burger, you know, it's got to run. If it doesn't run, it's too dry. How can it be pulled anything? 
all pulled pork, pulled chicken, pulled beef, everything like that, you have a nice runny sauce. There we are, that is our pulled chicken. All we got to do now is put it together. No, I'm not toasting my buns today, I've got normal buns. Oh, come on, get it on. It's moist, it's juicy, it's got that sauce through there. Oh, <laughs> how big do you want to go? Up to you. Oh, we're making a mess. Remember our sauce? Oh, oh, we want that on there. Oh, let's just turn that round there. Let's put that on there. That is bull chicken right there. That looks absolutely incredible. Let's get dug in. We just need to be getting in here and giving this a test. <laughs> the smell is incredible actually and my mouth is watering. Oh. That is absolutely superb. That pulled chicken is so moist. And obviously we've moistened it as well with the sauce, so it's just fantastic. That is definitely one of the best ways to actually cook chicken breast. You know, the Instant Pot does a fantastic job. It's superb. This pulled chicken is on another level. The sauce that it's cooked in is absolutely delicious. Our barbecue honey sauce. Okay, it's great. It's a barbecue honey sauce. A bit of mayo in. You know, and obviously you can flavour it whatever you want. You can have cayenne pepper, anything like that. So yeah, overall, <laughs> I'm well happy. <laughs> so as that's our pulled chicken sandwich made and our creamy honey mustard barbecue sauce. Quite a lot in there actually. Now, the thing for me, Dijon mustard is pretty much common. But you know, you could drop the Dijon mustard out if you don't like Dijon mustard or lower it down because Dijon mustard does carry more of a sour taste and I can taste the underlying flavour in here. You know, Dijon mustard is not always the go-to when I make sauces. But this one, very, very nice, super. If you like what we're doing, don't forget Big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, we'll catch you in the next video.